So protein metabolites. Proteins are obviously created from the long chain of the amino acids uh, that uh, are in order to be absorbed into the body needs to be broken down mainly by the enzymes from the pancreas uh, into amino acids and then those amino acids are absorbed in the intestines and are traveling around the body. There are um, Usually, a big part of them are used uh, in the liver uh, just uh, to be modified to create some proteins. Liver is the, our chemical industry, let's say. Uh, the, in case if the glucose levels are low, the amino acids can also uh, be a substrate in the process of gluconeogenesis. So, uh, the liver is able, mainly liver, is able to create the glucose from the amino acid. Uh, so they, it can destroy amino acids in order to create glucose. What is also important about um, protein metabolism is that we, are, we do not have an effective ability of storing proteins for a longer time. So uh, if we have too much of the proteins, it will lead to increased uh, production of the waste. Yes? Uh, waste that are containing nitrogen. That's why uh, we were talking about nitrogen balance when we are thinking about uh, the amino acids. Yes, because those wastes like ammonia, for example, are containing um, nitrogen. And of course the proteins are needed uh, for uh, structuring nearly everything in the body. And these are the basic building blocks generally for nearly everything. So they are critical. And we have some amino acids that are exogenous and endogenous. What are the exogenous? Exogenous uh, amino acids are the amino acids that we cannot generate by ourselves. So if you would not get them through the food, you would not get them at all. Endogenous are the amino acids that we are able to create by ourselves. Yes, so if we uh, would not get them by the food, we would create them from some other amino acids, for example. Uh, so, of course, the exogenous are most important. Uh, from the diet perspective, uh, more exogenous uh, amino acids are in the uh, meat, eggs, everything from uh, animals. Uh, so, generally, the proteins are considered a bit better from the animals than from the plants. However, still, if the diet uh, is good, well fought, uh, we can get... Uh, all that is needed from plants only. Uh, okay, thank you very much.